hey master gardeners I'm out here chasing butterflies <laughs> so we're trying to find a black swallowtail so this is one of our most common butterflies you're gonna see lots of yellow swallowtails here on my cone flowers and I also have a white phlox but it's the black swallowtail that I want you to look at because I also have the caterpillar so here's what the young caterpillar looks like he has dots you might confuse him with a monarch, but a monarch has all stripes, whereas this guy has little yellow dots across his body, and he's developing. I've had him, oop, there he goes. Did you see him protrude those little antenna? They only come out. You gotta be real slow about how you pick up a caterpillar because you can actually pull the pro legs off. But when he gets agitated, he will stick out those little antenna, and that's the only time he'll stick them out for a defense mechanism. And he also emits an odor. He actually kind of smells like parsley, so, the one reason this is a caterpillar that's great for families to try to raise is it's easy to find. It, you can be finding it on your dill, on your parsley, on carrots, on celery. Um, there's even a few other, any of those plants that make that white lace-like flower, Queen Anne's lace. And that's why this one's so easy. Because when I got this one, if he's eating your parsley, you don't want him to eat all your parsley. So sometimes this guy can be a pest. But if he's growing on your parsley, all you have to do is get a jar and each day cut some new fresh cuttings of Queen Anne's lace and put it in a jar for him and provide fresh food. You can even cut some of the Queen Anne's lace and keep it in the refrigerator and keep feeding him regularly. And even if you didn't have a cage to put him in, he really doesn't crawl off of this as long as it stays fresh. Now, I found that my jar didn't fit in my container, so I just stood the jar up sideways. The weakness of this is that you don't get the proper air circulation that you might want to have. That's one of the killers of the caterpillar, is they have to have good air circulation and ventilation. You don't have to water it. It will consume enough uh, water right from the foliage that it's eating. So I put it in there, or if I have a, a low container of some kind, I can use a baby food jar maybe, and put my cuttings of Queen Anne's lace or parsley if you have an adequate amount of it, and put your caterpillar in here. If you, when he gets old enough, he's gonna pupate, you need to lay a stick in there because he's gonna climb up onto an upper surface. Sometimes I've raised as many as nine black swallowtails in a container, and they will pupate right on the ceiling of this container. Very fun kids project to do. Fun to watch them hang, pupate on their own. You can even use an inverted tomato cage and just put cheesecloth over it to create your own enclosure. That's another way. Look on the internet. There's lots of different ideas how to make butterfly enclosures. So have any of them landed? Have we seen? So hopefully she can zoom in. The male and the female look different. The female tends to be the larger of the two cat of the butterflies. The male is a smaller one, and the male has bright yellow, bold yellow spots on it, whereas the female's yellow spots are a little bit more subdued. Can you see him? Did he fly away? Here he comes back again. He's over there. I get a lot of yellow ones. There's a lot of yellow on this, but is that a male or female? Now, when a butterfly's wings are open, they look a little different than when they're closed. It's when they're more open and you're looking down on their back. That's the easier way to do your identification. This black butterfly practices mimicry of a more poisonous butterfly. The poisonous butterfly is your, um, uh, the one that we don't see as often. What's his name? Uh, oh gosh, the pipe vine. Pipe vine swallowtail. That's what he mimics. And that's and some of your other black butterflies the red and purple mimics that and then we have another black one which is the red red spotted blue so they're all mimicking this more poisonous one that's a very common uh, maneuver for a lot of animals to mimic the poisonous ones but anyway the black swallowtail i encourage you get out and look at your dill look at your parsley at this time of the year it's not hard to see where the caterpillars have consumed it um let me tell you one other thing on your in your little pen you need to make sure hey buddy stay in there Make sure you're cleaning up your frass. That's another enemy is you want to keep you want to keep these little pellets. You need to learn to recognize these little round pellets as caterpillar frass because you will see it on various plants. Of course that tobacco hornworm, tomato hornworm, he has really big frass because he's such a big caterpillar. But this is a fun family project. Just get a little make your little makeshift pen. Get outside and look for your black swallowtail butterfly. Good luck.